all you did was ask somebody else to get paid hello this is why we haven't seen Devin Haney I'm talking about the information that we have thus far we haven't seen his purse go above 1.5 million now somebody gonna say manager Marty what you talking about okay let's talk about it um when he fought Regis Progress the paperwork is out already the paperwork is out he got paid a guarantee of 1.5 million dollars for that fight but then five six months later five or six months earlier he fought Lomachenko and he didn't get paid more than 1.5 million then where's the progression you're supposed to get paid more money in your next fight than you did in your last fight come on and talk to me somebody talk to the professor today we need answers that's not good business so when people say well how many pay-per-views did Regis and Devin Haney generate notice I never talked about the pay-per-view numbers you know why because it don't make no difference you want to know why it don't make no difference to me because the fighter is not going to benefit from it so let's say they did do 300,000 buys let's just say they did 300,000 buys Regis Prograde versus Devin Haney well Devin Haney and Regis are both locked into a guaranteed contract with Matchroom and Eddie Hearn so they're not entitled to the back end money so that's why I never talked about the pay-per-view numbers but you heard other content creators talking about it and the reason why is because it is good content but see you got to understand the business of boxing so now that's why I love when other content creators come over here and I know some of them I'm, I'm not talking about the ones that I'm cool with I'm talking about the haters yeah that don't be in the chat they scared to come in the chat and let me know they're here but I know they watching you know why I know they watching because they they ain't know nothing all this time but then when they come over here they hear the teachings of the professor manager Marty then they go take and then run you know they go freeload eat for free over here then they go take it and then try to go act like they knew all along what was going on yeah I see what's going on yeah yeah so all I'm saying is we got to do good business if we want to turn Devin Haney into a superstar see this ain't no hating this is just facts and and, and guess what if you know the business of boxing you have no choice but to agree with me you have no you have, really have no choice because I'm right about what I'm talking about <laughs> that's why you I mean you do have a choice I ain't gonna say you don't have a choice. but it will be asinine if you disagree with me if you know the business you know what I'm saying yeah so all I'm saying is you have to understand how the business of boxing works and I teach y'all so that when I teach you and I bring up certain points y'all already be on point like oh I know what he's talking about that's correct you are free hey, look now watch how I spin Terrence Crawford in the mix to prove my point Terrence Crawford guess what he understood the difference between getting a guaranteed purse then being locked into a contract Whew. man you see that he's he's locked into a contract getting a guaranteed purse he knows the difference between that and getting that back in money you see you get that back in money because there is no promoter you got to be locked into when you go over to the great Al Haney that's why I keep telling Ryan Garcia call that man you got problems with Golden Boy cool when your contract is up get on the phone and you call the great Al Haney yeah you don't have to worry about getting locked into no uh 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 no contract where 30 percent of your purse got to go to the promoter yeah 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 to, to get on the phone Ryan and call him I told Devin Haney after the Lomachenko fight I can pull it up I said don't you go sign with nobody on the phone call that man and guess who else I told that to Bud Crawford I told y'all when I met Bud Crawford what I told him see y'all keep forgetting that's why y'all keep trying to throw this hating up there no 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 I never even told Bud Crawford I was a manager when I met him and I'm talking about when we both was ringside uh sitting at the uh the Errol Spence versus uh versus uh Danny Garcia 15 minutes away from my house up in Arlington Texas that's correct 
And I told Bud, took a picture with him and everything. I told Crawford, I said, I know what you're here for, Bud. You here to see how Spitz looked in this fight after that car accident. You y'all gonna get it on next, right? I said, it's gonna be a good fight, you and Spence. I said, I know why you're here. Yeah, you trying to let him know you you want the fight and everything. He said, yeah. I said, well, what's that? What's going on? Oh, man, I think Bob Arum holding the fight up. That's what Bud Crawford told me to my face. You know what I told Bud? I said, if Bob Arum is the reason why this fight's been delayed or is he, he holding you up from supporting your family and making money, guess what? When that contract time to expire, leave him alone. Don't resign with him. And guess what? A year later, get what I found out. He ain't resigned with Bob. So I said, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Because I understand the power of being a free agent in this business. And guess what? Terrence Crawford, he understands the difference now. And y'all heard him say it in multiple interviews after the fight. He done told y'all his newfound knowledge that he came upon. He told y'all. And he also criticized the business side for saying that the fighters don't even get none of the extra revenue that's being produced and generated when you locked into a guaranteed contract with a promoter. Come on now. When Bob Crawford right, I'm going to give him credit when he's right. Just as equally as I'm going to do if he said or did something wrong. And I'm giving him credit now. But what I'm saying is, Bill Haney got to learn the business because we need to see progression. We haven't seen progression. We just haven't. There's no knock on him. I'm just giving him the game like I did Crawford right here through YouTube, free of charge, Shahid. And that's what we're doing right now. We didn't see any progression. I know people say he's a good businessman, but I, I, haven't, I haven't seen no progression yet in the business model yet. I keep seeing them run to this promoter, getting a uh, uh, 30 percent of their purse taken and getting locked into a guaranteed contract not getting no extra revenues that's generated and then run to this promoter and then run spin the block bust a u-turn and run back to that other promoter that he was with before buy i mean that's what i see shaheed i mean what do you see in all this shaheed i see that they took um your pc brother i see that they took um they took your advice because if you think about it, the time frame, they didn't have that until you actually verbalized it. I know that I know they got people watching your channel, bro. So I think that, you know, the advice that you gave, all of a sudden, Terrence Crawford got that contract that he was searching for. Remember, he made the live. He went live on Instagram saying that he was getting effed up out of the deal and then no back end money, no nothing. And then when you went, you know, live on your podcast, you let it be known what it was he needed to do to seal the deal and actually right after that not too much longer after that he sealed the deal that's right that's correct and if bill haney and them watching listen to the manager and do the same thing bud did and guess what uh devin haney's gonna become a superstar if they follow the blueprint that i'm putting down because right now he's still stuck in this star level chasing after belts when you got a guy in Tank Davis who don't need no belts no more. When you got a guy in Tank Davis who don't need to be locked into a guaranteed contract with a promoter. You see my point? Superstar. Deontay Wilder, superstar. Errol Spence, superstar. Know why? Because they ain't locked into no guaranteed promoter and they got good representation. It's very simple here. And guess what else all three of them got in common? Besides them having world titles. This is another thing they got in common. They're all three of those guys are American. See, that's why I point those three guys out. I can throw Danny Garcia in there too. He a superstar too. What I'm just saying is these guys are Americans. I, I, I mean, I can do a little thing on Canelo and Ryan, them Mexicans, but no, we ain't talking about them today. We talking about the Americans that can become superstars in this business. They're Americans. And Devin Haney is an American, and he has the potential to be a superstar. But what's happening is the business model, not progression. No progression in the business model. All that doing this and Cameron and all that, that ain't, that, ain't, that ain't the way. Bill Haney calling out fighters, that ain't the way. It ain't working. All that chasing after the belts, 
that ain't the way because guess what you're still losing money there let's talk about it now i'm a businessman see we in business to make money and mitigate our risk at the same time that's what good businessmen and women do so now let's put this in let, let's put this in perspective real quick shaheed mm -hmm. so you locked into a contract with a promoter mm -hmm. he's going to give you a guaranteed purse that never generated more than 1.5 million we know that's a fact Fact number two, 30% of your purse going to go to the promoter. And fact number three, since you want to taste the belts, you got the belts. And watch this. 3% of each of the belts that you're walking around with, 3% of your purse got to go to the sanctioning body. So just off of one fight, you're losing 33% of your purse. 30 for the promoter. And 3% to the section of body who you walking around carrying a belt. Come on, let's let's talk about it now. 33% of Devin Haney's purse, every fight that he fights in since he's a title holder, and that's only with one belt. Don't let me add the other ones when he was undisputed. He had all four belts, didn't he? 12% mm -hmm. right there. 42% of your earnings got to go to somebody else and not back into the business of Devin Haney promotion.